most underrated project. I mean, so I guess it's kind of hard to figure out what people are rating, what people aren't rating. Mm-hmm. I would say one project that not a lot of people are talking about, but I really loved. It's one of my favorite projects this year. Is Cruel Intentions, the EP that Tory Lanez did mm-hmm. through We Did It. Um, I just saw him live yesterday, which is why I'm. Uh, I saw. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, crowd walked Santos Party House last night. Like, crowd walked from the stage to the back bar wow. perf- without touch- his feet hitting the ground, stood on the back bar, performed a song, and then crowd walked back. <laughs> he, his feet never touched the ground. Wow. Like, that, that guy is, 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 uh, is quite talented. He can yeah. sing, too, which is, uh, and sing really well live, which really? is crazy. Okay. Wow. He did say it a cappella. Which is wow. which is crazy. So um, that project is really dope. It reminded me of the project last year that Jeremiah did with Shlomo, mm-hmm. um, and I think that I love that project. You know, Jeremiah is a freak of nature, and you know Shlomo is <laughs> an incredible producer. Um, so you know, it's the same sort of cast of characters: R.L. Grime, Bauer, Shlomo, etc. Mm-hmm. Great producers who are in the electronic space, but know yeah. how to make urban music because of it's sort of being well talented. And Tory Lanez is a great songwriter. And he, he didn't rap on that project, actually. It was all sung and, mm-hmm. you know, really good. So I, that's, I'd say, the most underrated project.